Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will see some important points about Talent Open Studio. Uh, what is the meaning of each of the components and how we can uh, launch uh, the components one by one and how we can create a sample first job. Right. So uh, as you can see on my screen that there are several points mentioned out here and this is the reference from where uh, you people can go and have a look uh, for uh, different uh, topics as well uh, so if we see the first point views so uh, when we launch the talent open studio uh, you can see you know several sections that are uh, visible on the uh, tool itself so those sections are nothing but the views so that view can be you know a component view or you can uh, say a repository view etc there are several views on the tool that we see and those are called as views so uh, the second option, uh, the second point is the project repository. So it contains all the project items like, you know, the metadata uh, that is related to your project, uh, different kind of uh, services uh, that you are using or you may use in your project, uh, different documentations available. And of course, the ETL jobs, the jobs that we create to, you know, run the business logic. So that is all you can see in the project repository. Uh, coming to next one, we have the job designer. So here you will see uh, all the components of the talent studio where we actually put uh, the different components to connect and you know to fetch the data. Say for example, you want to fetch or read a data from a file. So you can connect uh, the file component and you can print it on the console. So that we will see in some uh, time how we can create a first job and we can uh, fetch the data. So uh, that is the meaning of a job designer. Uh, then coming to the next one that is the palette so the palette but you know it lists all the available components that are organized into uh, different folders so different ELT components ETL components Salesforce components uh, Oracle components like uh, various wizards right so that is the meaning of a palette uh, so coming to the next point uh, that is the component area. So the component area it displays the parameters with which uh, you can configure uh, your respective components uh, uh, You want to read a file, right? So when you want to read a file you need to give the location of the file and uh, You need to mention the schema like what all uh, columns you want to read from that file, right? So all those kind of uh, configurations uh, that needs to be given in the component area so uh, when you click on uh, like any of the component that component area will be visible there you can do all the configurations right so uh, in short i can say like uh, the tool helps to create the etl programs and uh, uh, it provides you a graphical user interface and these you know the programs are called nothing but the data integration jobs right so uh, let's try to create a simple job and what we will do is we will read the data uh, from the text file and we will try to display on the console right so uh, let us launch the tool and uh, i'll show you uh, all these uh, things on the tool itself like uh, uh, where we can find all these uh, you know parts so uh, let's launch the tool so yeah so this is talent open studio so this is talent open studio for data integration version 8 so the version that i have downloaded is the version 8 right so when uh, you know the first uh, screen comes up so it will ask you you know to select an existing project or if you want to create a new project as well you can do that as well by selecting you know a create a new project right this one so uh, you can import a new project as well or you can import a demo project as well right so what i will do is i'll you know select an existing project test project that is already uh, created um you know in my uh, talent open studio right so let's click on finish <clears throat> all right so uh, this is uh, the tool that we have and uh, the the views that i was talking about right so you know so see this is a repository on the left hand side right on the downside you can see the outline so as of now we haven't selected anything so that's why it's showing us blank then on in the middle below section you will see the job uh, the context you know the components the component which i was talking about right and uh, running that particular job several options so uh, this this thing this is you know the job designer where you will uh, design your job and you will be able to see all the components right and on the right hand side is a palette so palette will contain all the components 
that uh, you will be utilizing uh, like you will be selecting some of the components to create your jobs so palette will contain all the possible components in the talent open studio right so this is you know a kind of a small my uh, basic overview of the talent open studio uh, ui um, so for today's tutorial let's uh, try to create you know create a simple job and let's see how we can read a demo or a file like text file and display it on the console right so i have already you know created the project as test project so i have taken that same project and i will create a job right so let me create a folder so create a folder and i will give the name of the folder as read file okay maybe that's a keyword that is why it's shown you that error so fl right okay so in, this is the folder now in this folder i will you know create a job i will give the description of the uh, job as like file read from text okay and you can define the purpose like uh, what is the purpose of this uh, particular job uh, that you are creating so you know it reads the data from the text file and displays on the console right so this is the you know a small purpose to understand the, the meaning of that and the same thing i will copy as in the description right so you can give any uh, more description if you want like uh, the uh, what is the file name and all but that depends on you actually so whatever the kind of description you want to give you can give it here right and uh, so these are the, all the disabled fields so click on finish <clears throat> okay so uh, so if you open this you know uh, uh, the folder you will see your job here right file read format text uh, 0 0.1 and uh, the, you remember that the purpose that we have given there so see if you hover on this uh, particular job it will give you the purpose it reads the data from the text file and displays on the console so uh, it's uh, like uh, it, it helps us to understand like what is that particular job doing right if you uh, like if you do not give uh, it will be a, a little bit difficult to understand by reading the name sometimes so that is the main use of the purpose right okay so uh, now let's try to you know pull the components out here so we will take uh, the input component here and <coughs> our uh, job was to create i mean uh, to uh, read the data from uh, the input text file and display it on the console right so if you go on this file option in the palette you go to the file option and you go to t input delimited so if you hover on that it says that reads a file row by row with a simple separated fields so you know a delimited kind of file a comma or uh, uh, with a, a semicolon right so i'll just pull this component onto our designer right so just click on that and click here so that component will be uh, you know uh, pasted or you know, kind of it comes here on the designer so now this is your first component so this component will read that particular text file and for displaying that we need to you know uh, log uh, all the output onto the console so for that what we will do is we will right click here and uh, click on the row select the first option main right so when you click here main um, log right so t log row so this is another component that i have added here right so these are the these are the two basic components that will be uh, comprising of our etl job okay now coming on you know the downside so this is you know initially i talked about the uh, the different views so this is you know the job what it is doing and what is the description you can change it as well from here right uh, then coming to context uh, so read file from the text so this is empty as of now and you can add or you can delete that we will see uh, in later tutorials right so as of now we are only concerned about you know just uh, uh, putting the component uh, displaying the output from the text file on the console so when you click on this component 
so the settings of this component will open settings or you can say the properties right the very first option you can see as edit schema so this is very important because the schema tells how uh, you will read your file like how many columns are there in your file that you want to read right so when you click on edit schema so as in our file we you know have name and age so that that means two columns right so we will define <coughs> so we will define here two columns so one we can give as name uh, that will be a string you know and next one we can define it as age so age we can take it as an integer so there are different you know the different data types are available out here we will select as integer right and uh, if you see you know the meaning the other fields out here right so length also you can specify so for example you only want to specify like two digit length for each column right so you can specify as two name so name suppose 10 right so you can specify as length 10 and so that's it like precision comments if you want to give so that we'll see right so uh, as of now i have basically defined uh, the normal uh, the schema for the file right so click on ok and it will ask you like you would you like to propagate the changes means uh, would you like to uh, uh, would you like your changes to get into implemented into this particular job right so you click on yes uh now if you see here the file name right so this is the location where you need to give from which file you want to read the data right so on this three uh, dots click on this it is a browse uh, option and i'll click on a test file that i've already created right so in this text file we have you know uh, two rows with a name and age separated by semicolon okay so this is our file and We will uh, file uh, we will be reading and uh, displaying on the console right so we have given you know the text file location here and a row separator means uh, how your rows are separated so uh, you know this is first row then on the next line it is a second row right so I have given uh, the row separator as slash n right coming to field separator so how your fields are separated by you know a semicolon right so I have given the field separator as semicolon right we don't have any header or footer so leave it like that uh, limit is uh, that means how many rows uh, you want to print or how many rows you want uh, this job to run on actually so I'm just leaving it blank as of now right so uh, that's it I think so just uh, we have given this location and we have connected this to the T log row so let us see what happens so let's try to run this particular job then uh, it will be building the job and the operation is in progress and yes so if you you know if you see this this is the log so what we were trying to do is we tried to read a file the data in the file we had two uh, rows uh, with the name and age and we want to display it on the console so this is called the console right and we are successful right so if you see the file as well so it contains the same data right Rahul 33 Amit 32 right so if you want like if you have more data like uh, suppose I'm, I'll add few more names here right Vishik 45 55 Neha 90 Amisha 58 right control s right so you just need to save the file that's all because location we have already given so the job itself will take this file as well so now you know we have five rows right so all these five rows should be picked up by this ETL job and it should be displayed on the console so let's see if it is happening right so let's clear this log again and uh, you know click on run see here Rahul, Amit, Abhishek, Neha, Anisha. So all five uh, rows are displayed on the console, right? So this is a very basic example of a job like uh, which reads the data and uh, displays on the console. Uh, I hope this is uh, you know clear. And if you have any doubts, you can uh, put a put a comment on my video, and I will be happy. I'll be happy to help you.
and uh, so you know it's a very vast uh, topic talent open studio it has see on the right hand side it has lot of components so one by one we will see uh, we'll try to cover most of the components we'll try to connect with data database uh, different databases and we'll fetch the data from the table we'll try to uh, display it on the console even uh, there are several scenarios like getting the data uh, from dv then uh, dis putting it into a file displaying the data into a file or writing the data into a file that as well so there are a lot of options a lot of scenarios are there that we can cover in uh, you know talent open studio so uh, we'll see one by one each of the tutorials and uh, hopefully then uh, we will have a good command on uh, this particular uh, etl tool right so uh, till then uh, take care and uh, keep learning in life bye bye enjoy